I discovered dirt bikes through a tattered magazine I found at high school. I started working odd jobs, saved money and bought a flogged out Suzuki RM80. I'd have to spend five hours fixing the thing just to get an hour's riding on it. But that little old bike taught me to understand motorcycles. I became a rider from that point on and my passion for bikes led me into racing. Somehow I stumbled into media, only to find myself working for the very magazine I used to read at school. I'm not one of the fastest riders in the world, but some of my mates are, and it's through them I've learnt what it takes to achieve goals. I've got some big goals now, and they don't materialise without working day and night. But when you dig deep to make things happen, you attract the attention of those who can help you succeed. To describe my motorcycling journey in one word, fanatical would be pretty accurate. Yet ironically, I've never really owned up to being a dirt bike rider. I often meet new people, and during idle chit chat simply pass myself off as a photographer or something. People tend not to take me seriously when I say I've been making dirt bike films for a living. But it's the truth. It's what I do. Everything I have, I owe to motorcycles. As a kid, I hopped on a bike and rode away from a pretty rough life, and the freedom of two wheels has since taken me around the world. I've found a purpose in motorcycling, a positive direction, amazing experiences, and a world of opportunity. Opportunities I hope to share with others and pass on some of the goodwill I've been fortunate enough to receive.
girl, I bet you wish you didn't jump my fence now. This place isn't what you think it is, mate. How old are you? Nine. You want me to take you home? Or do you want me to show you how to ride this thing properly? I want to ride. All right, let's go. subscribe to a Raymond one you're only saying that so you can ride this track again get out of here your parents will be worried sick